It's actually like 12 o'clock, but I'm just not getting ready for the day. Um, honestly, I probably won't even be leaving my house. I'm just going ahead and curling my hair because um, I don't wash my hair every day. So this hairstyle is actually going to last me a few days. Um, so I need to go ahead and curl it now because if I wait, my hair will get greasy. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm still in my pajamas. And I probably will stay in my pajamas all day. Um, it is very like gross and rainy outside. And it has been for weeks. Um, last week we actually had a flood warning. And I think we might have it again this week. Like tomorrow possibly. I'm not sure. But it's just been raining nonstop. And it's cold. It actually snowed on Saturday like a good bit. But then it all, it rained and it washed it all away. So I think I'm just going to stay in pajamas all day and do some stuff around the house and maybe some schoolwork too. So I thought that I would vlog today because there's a lot of stuff I need to update you on, as if you care. And I need to film a video today of some sort. I was going to film like a um, like scheduled like cleaning video and like set it up and actually do like a proper cleaning video. <clears throat> but then I thought um, I would rather vlog because I have some stuff I wanna talk about. Not that it's important, it's just stuff that's been going on. Um, I'm sure nobody noticed, but I skipped another week of filming videos last week, which I said that I wasn't going to do, but last week was just crazy. So yeah, I thought that I would just vlog today and catch everybody up on what's going on with my life, why I took a week off, and all of that fun stuff. So I'm just going to finish curling my hair and then we will kind of get this day started. So I just finished my hair. I don't even know if I've said it on here, but I put more blonde in my hair. Um, I don't even know if you can tell in this lighting, but I did put a lot more blonde in my hair and I think I'm officially going blonde. Um, I'm naturally blonde and for years I've dyed my hair dark brown. And so I feel like now I'm at this place where I just want to go back to my natural color and see how I like it. Um, I'm obviously gonna do more blonde, so I want like my natural roots and then like fade it into like a balayage blonde. So that's what we're going for slowly, but surely we will get there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our day. I don't know if you can tell like just how gross and rainy it is outside. And the dogs are just crying to go outside and play in it, but I won't let them because I'm not trying to get them money. Okay, so I just put some sweatpants on so that I'm not totally in my pajamas. Um, and I was just gonna go ahead and walk you through what our plan was today, which is basically nothing. I am going to straighten up the house a little bit. It's not like, dirty but there's just stuff that needs to be put up everywhere also i really need to vacuum and mop the floors but i forgot to buy mopping pads with my 
um, grocery order on Monday and I don't want to get out and go buy mopping pads so that might have to wait plus anyways it's raining outside so um, as soon as the dogs come in from being outside there's gonna be muddy footprints all over the place anyways so I just wanted to update you on our life um, Basically, basically last week we noticed that um, Jax, our dog, had a lump on his um, foot, like on his leg. Um, and I, of course, freaked out. So we took him to the vet on Wednesday of last week. Turns out he had something called basal cell carcinoma um, and it was a tumor. Thankfully, they said it wasn't cancerous, but he still had to, look at my orange hands. Um, he still had to have surgery to have it removed. So we went ahead and scheduled like basically immediate surgery for the next day because the vet said where it was on his leg, it would just get bigger and the bigger it got, the less chance they would have of having enough skin to close it because on a dog's leg, there's not much skin. So we had surgery on Thursday, everything went fine. We got him home. Um, me being in nursing school, I of course was like checking out the stitches and everything and I noticed that they were really, really tight. Um, like the skin was really tight. So it was kind of pulling on the stitches, not the way that it should look in my opinion, but they were fine. Um, so everything was fine. The next day, we had church on Friday, um, Friday night, and everything was fine. Everything was great. I stayed home with him all day. We go to church. He has a cone on the whole time. We put him in his crate. We come home, and somehow he got around the cone and popped the stitches. Um, it was only two stitches, and they were the ones that were like really, really tight. So I don't know if he actually got them or if somehow they just popped. I don't know. Anyways, it's 10 o'clock at night at this point on a Friday. Um, so I decided I would just call the vet first thing in the morning. Saturday comes around. 8 o'clock, I call them and ask them what I needed to do. And they basically said it was up to me if I wanted to bring him in or not. Um, that the vet wasn't there to do anything. That they could only like look at the stitches. So I decided I was just gonna take it upon myself to do wound dressings on it. So we went and bought a bunch of wound dressing stuff and I decided I was just going to care for it myself. Um, because it was healing, it was fine, it wasn't infected or anything. He's on antibiotics anyways. Um, I would just do wound dressings myself. Fast forward to a few days later and we are, where were we? Oh, I was at school on Monday and I came home and um, he was in the crate with his cone on and somehow again he got around his cone, took the dressing off and pulled all the other stitches out. Um, and I know at that point a lot of people would say take him to the vet, but I don't think that he, they could have stitched it back up because it was so far into the healing already and again there wasn't enough skin. So I decided that I was just going to continue wound dressing it, watch him closer, um, make sure that he could not get to it anymore. So basically that's been our life. I have been freaking out. But everything's fine. It's healing fine. That is why we didn't. I didn't film a video last week because I've just been so stressed this way. Um, so, anyways, um, don't mind my muddy footprints. But here he is, and he currently has a sock on his foot <laughs> to make sure he doesn't get to the um, bandage underneath. But he is not happy at all about it. Are you? He doesn't like it at all. But he's been doing good. Everything's been fine. Um, Nancy has been jealous because she's not getting as much as tension as she normally does. But we're doing good. He's just so mad. <laughs> so this is the actual state of our house right now. <laughs> 
There's just random stuff everywhere that I needed to clean up, wipe everything down. And I'm gonna do some laundry as well, but here is a load of clothes that I put in the washing machine on Sunday <laughs> and I forgot about them, so. Um, that's great. I'll just have to rewash them and then we will put them in the dryer. Nancy is so upset because she wants to go outside and she cannot because it's raining and muddy, right? So I'm going to quickly um, try to get this house together. I'll probably just do a little time lapse of it. I'm not going to be able to mop the floors because I don't have a floor pad, like a Swiffer pad to mop the floors with and I'm not even gonna worry about it because their muddy footprints are just going to come back every time I take them outside. <sighs> so let's go ahead and just clean this house up. Okay, so I'm going to empty this dishwasher, put all the dishes that are in the sink into the dishwasher, um, and I'm also going to be watching The Bachelor while I do this. If you don't like Peter, we can't even talk because I love Peter. Okay, so the house is officially picked back up. Over there on the table is Jax's comb, so that's just gonna have to stay there. And I have our robot vacuum going because I don't feel like vacuuming right now, so I'm hoping that it does the trick, but like seriously, look at our floors. And this is just in the past few days with all of the rain and the muddy footprints and dog hair. Um, also, that dog bed does not stay there, but since Jax had his surgery, I um, brought it in here in case he doesn't feel like jumping up on the couch. He can still lay with us. Look how sad he is over here. Hey, buddy, what's the matter? Okay, so now that the house is clean, look at my hand. Oh my God. So now that the house is clean, I think I'm going to bake some cookies. I'm actually going to bake some, I guess, keto peanut butter cookies. They're super easy and I don't feel guilty when I eat um, all of them in one sitting. Um, and they're super, super easy. So I thought I would go ahead and share that with y'all. So all this recipe calls for is one egg, one cup of peanut butter, um, half a cup of this sweetener so i hope that i have enough and then it calls for one fourth cup of almond flour or you can use two tablespoons of coconut flour so that is 
what I do. And the recipe actually calls for like, um, I think it's Swerve or whatever artificial sweetener. Sorry if you can hear Jack's drinking water. But I found this at Walmart and I thought I would try it and it is really, really good. So I just substitute this for that. And that's it, you just mix it together, roll it up into balls and bake it in the oven for about 12 minutes, I believe. They are so, so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make those real quick. Okay, so here's all of the ingredients and now I'm just going to mix it together. Okay, so I went ahead and flattened them all with my fork. Sorry if you can hear our vacuum in the background. Okay, and then I am just going to put those on the top rack and set those to bake for 12 minutes. I just changed Jax's dressing. Everything looks good, but he always hates it so much. And then Nancy is just so jealous. So jealous. Okay, so while I wait for those cookies to bake, I'm just going to sit down and do a little bit of schoolwork. Um, we have to finish all of these quizzes. There's like 36 of them, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on some of those. Okay, guys, so it is a little while later now. The lighting in here is terrible because it is gloomy outside. Um, I am cooking dinner right now. I didn't film any more after um, I cleaned the house mainly because I was doing schoolwork and it was just boring and on the computer. Um, so it is six o'clock now. I am cooking dinner. I'm cooking the ramen noodle stir fry. I have it in my video if anybody is interested. So right now I'm just cooking the vegetables. And honestly, I don't have a ton to do today after I um, cook dinner and finish eating. Um, but right now I'm just going to cook dinner and go ahead and eat that. All right guys, it is 11 o'clock now. I cleaned up the kitchen and then just laid around and watched TV. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and go to bed. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.